From WRAL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus News Brief for Wednesday, September 8th. I'm Mark Boyle. More than 25,000 new cases were reported on Tuesday in North Carolina, the first set of new numbers to be released after the holiday weekend. Just under 3,800 patients are hospitalized statewide, and more than half are under the age of 60. While the Delta variant is still the overwhelming majority of the new COVID cases, the World Health Organization is sounding the alarm on its fifth identified variant, the Mu variant. WREL's Amanda Lamb spoke with a local infectious disease specialist about the latest variant of concern. The Delta variant is still making up 99% of the COVID cases. Welcome to WHO. But the World Health Organization has identified the Mu variant as a variant of interest. It's in 39 countries. It's in 49 of the 50 states. Jessica Dixon is the director of infection prevention at Wake Med. She tells us Mu is making only a fraction of COVID patients sick. Here in the U.S., again, 0.2% of our U.S. cases are the Mu variant. But even with the little data we have so far, it appears that Mu is highly contagious and may be more resistant to treatment. A mutation that appears to potentially allow it to evade our treatment, so our monoclonal antibodies and our antiviral treatments. Dixon tells us vaccination is the best way to prevent mutation. Vaccination is absolutely our first line of defense and our best line of defense and our, our best ticket out of this pandemic. For the Coronavirus News Brief, I'm Mark Boyle.